what is going on YouTube so we are on the way to my first high rocks games eight workouts with a one kilometer run in between so I'm gonna let you know why I did this race what's a part of it if it's your first high rocks games and what to expect but first let's get on the road to Dallas Fort Worth right up the road from here in Houston let's go check in let's meet up with some friends let's have a good time Okay guys, so we just checked in, we're going to go set our stuff down, go to the Automobile Center where the event's going to be held at in downtown Dallas. I'm going to pick my bib up and I'm going to walk you guys through on the competition floor what to expect in this event, the task conditions and standards, but we are in Texas and I grew up a country boy, so let's get it. Alright guys, so I guess I didn't read my email correctly, but... They're still uh, setting this whole operation up right now, so uh, yeah. We'll check in early in the morning, but right now let's get to some nutrition. Let's meet up with some buddies, and we're gonna have a good time. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got that beautiful Texas flag in the background, and that never gets old, I, I promise you that. So. One thing, one of the biggest reasons why I decided to do this race on such short notice is because relationships matter, right? So I just realized when I just got done serving this country's military, I just kind of looked back when I was moving my life across the country and I was like, I let a lot of relationships falter. While I was trying to do my best with the COVID response, when I was trying to do my best in fitness, when I was trying to do my best as a software developer and trying to make make my pathway to the VC world but I'm a huge fan of controlling my controllables and relationships is one thing in this life that you can control yeah of course you're gonna have friends that kind of just leave because you grow apart but being too busy for somebody that's been for you with a long time is not a really good excuse so if there's anything out of this whole episode just know that God, God works in mysterious ways and Never let your friendships falter because you're too busy, especially the ones that help you to get where you are because you got to make the time. And luckily, a lot of the people that I got, that I got disconnected with, they came back, including somebody that I haven't been in contact for a long time, but he awarded me the ticket to this race and I only have 25 days to train, but I said, of course I will, because I feel like this was God's gift to me. And we're gonna go break bread tomorrow and no matter what happens, happens because I committed to a process and all the haze in the barn, all of the double training days, it doesn't matter what your step one looks like, but you need, you need to take that step one even if you fail because you'll be so much better because of it. So uh, tomorrow we're going to go check in at 8.30 at um, the automobile building and right now we're going to go back and I'm going to show you kind of a little bit of pre race nutrition and tips to survive your first high rocks race. I'm just going to give you some quick tips from my perspective. Keep in mind, this is my first race. I'm not trying to be a world champion or anything, but I went through a whole training cycle in 25 days. And here's what I've learned and here's what I think can help you. Some mistakes to avoid. Starting number one, give yourself time to train for this. I won this through a sweepstakes and I understand it was going to take a lot of load. For 25 days, but give yourself some time, especially if you're new to the endurance space. I already had a decent, above average level of running conditioning. I just had to train to race. But there was one week I tried to hit 40 miles of training on top of high rock specific training. Yeah, it was just bad. Like I was losing my appetite and other things. So I quick, quickly ramped it down. So give yourself time to train. Number two, have a plan. Nothing about this race is difficult. The sled, the ski erg and you're always running a thousand meters in between each nothing about this is hard skill wise so train to it high rocks has a training plan when they give you your ticket as well or just reach out to a friend that's done high rocks but i've seen the best high rocks people like the world champion on youtube they have very basic training plans that just have different volumes and frequencies so make a plan stick to it and then go on with it secondly Good running shoes. I'm flat-footed, so on my longer runs, I have my Brooks. 
on my speed workouts, I had my sucking knees, but just get used to being on your feet. And honestly, um, if you're a good runner, you're going to naturally just be good at this event because you can make up whatever you don't use in the actual, whatever you don't do well in the actual strength events, and you can just run laps around people. That's just how life goes sometimes. And, uh, yeah, I think the um, last thing, if you haven't tested yourself in a while, have fun knowing that you're testing yourself and seeing what you're made out of. Because this is a relatively new space, but this is either going to be as easy as you make it or as hard as you make it. So take the training, take it seriously, push yourself, and use it as a learning lesson. Okay, so just a little bit of additional um, knowledge. Here are some of the supplements that have helped me along with the good diet and training and sleep to help me get to where I am right now. So let's get to it. Now keep in mind, supplements are always optional, but if you're doing this level of training and frequency, it can help fill in the gaps very cost effectively. So first we're going to begin with the whey protein. I don't know about you guys, but doing running and a lot of conditioning makes me lose weight. I want to make sure I'm not losing too much muscle or any muscle actually. So on top of my diet, I made sure, uh, me personally, just to be on the safe side, I weigh about 170 and I'm eating about 200 grams of protein. About 50 to 75 of those comes from actual protein powder because it's cheap, effective, and safe. These two together go in more sport and electrolytes. This is the fast acting carbohydrate with an, ele with an electrolyte profile, and this is electrolytes. I don't know about you guys, but the last thing you want to do when you're training is have a bad training session. One, because you weren't fueled. Two, you seize up because you, la because you ran out of electrolytes either in your food or in supplement form, and your blood volume goes down, and that's how you end up getting cramps. So don't get cramps. Supplement accordingly. Creatine monohydrate. I would actually stack this with the pre-workout, which you guys heard enough about this, but let me go hone in on this supplement. This is for power production. Your body produces it naturally. It's the most studied supplement out there. And as a little bonus, um, yeah, so taking this in supplemental form for long periods of time helps work with your neurotransmitters to help prevent the onset of dementia later on in life. So I take this. Even on my off days, even when I'm cutting, it's just a good health supplement that a lot of people maybe aren't that knowledgeable on as well. But now, but now you are. So, oh yeah, and we got the field bars. It's just a wholesome pre-workout snack uh, that doesn't have any processed ingredients in it. 16 grams of protein and with a nice banana walnut bread flavor. So, if you're interested, code Gonzalez will save you 10% off at checkout. All right, so now we're going to go downstairs and we're going to do what's called a shakeout run, just a two-mile slow run just to keep the blood flowing. I'm going to come back upstairs, do some mobility, eat some dinner, and go to sleep. So into the pain cave tomorrow we go. I am super excited. So we are at High Rock Dallas right now. So I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of all the events and what's about to happen. Keep in mind that this is my first race here, so I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous, but it's okay. Alright guys, so this is going to be the first event right here after you get done with the first kilometer run, right? You have a thousand meter ski erg, and this is going to be hell on the back because you're going to try and get through this as quick as possible. And so, this event right here. Got yourself the good old sled push, right? And it's literally just a self-explanatory, as I said. Can't really see it too well over there, but you got the sled pull. So basically, you have a rope around the sled, and you're pulling it back to you. And uh, yeah, guys, sorry, I won't get the best angle, but I'll be doing this for real pretty soon. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit right there. You got the rower, 1,000 meter rower, and then you get to go on to the next event. Over here, got the farmer's carry so basically like like I said before nothing about this event seems to be too difficult but once again it's my first time so we'll see all right guys so this might not go in any particular order because this is my first race but this is where you finish at right so keep in mind I'm a I have a background in like powerlifting and um, wrestling so this is gonna be a very interesting sport 
So, 100 of these to end the event, and uh, yeah, that, you got the finish line, which is literally right over there. So, guys, keep in mind, in between each of these events, you have to run 1,000 meters. So, 1,000 meters in this stadium is about two laps, and then you get to go to the next event. So, I'm excited. It's my first time doing it. And uh, yeah, I'm just here to go break some bread with my buddies on the floor today. So let's do it. So one thing I forgot to mention, I don't go on until 11.40, but they got this convenient warm-up area, so that was pretty nice of them. Uh, general advice, don't quit. 
That's the first thing. That's a good one. Um, the second thing is have fun with it, right? Um, I would say the last piece of advice, go back and assess the numbers. Assess where did you perform well at, where did you not perform well at. Ask, your, ask yourself questions of how could I have done better, take it back to the drawing board, sign up again. Absolutely. Yeah, guys, you just heard it from like one of the top 